attach telescope. On the swing sidewall, attach the telescope to the SW side panel with two S15 wood screws. Make sure the telescope is tight to the corner of the panel. Step 22, roof support assembly. Attach one 220 roof support to one 221 roof support left at the peak using one S4 wood screw. Place the 222 gable bottom on the roof support and roof support left so it is flush to the outside edges of the supports. In the bolt holes, tap in two 5 16 inch T-nuts. Flip the assembly over so the large countersunk holes are facing up. Attach the gable bottom to the roof support and roof support left with two G8 hex bolts with lock washer and flat washer. Repeat this process to make a second roof support assembly. Place the 223 sunburst on the gable bottom so its center measures 16 and 1 half inches from the center of either bolt hole and it measures 1 and 1 quarter inches from the bottom of the gable bottom. Attach the sunburst to the gable bottom with two S15 wood screws. Repeat this process with the other roof support assembly. Turn the assembly over and place 224 center gable board on the sunburst, tight to the top of the gable bottom, so the tip is centered at the peak of the roof support assembly. Place one 225 gable board A tight to each side of the center gable board, so they are tight to the top of the gable bottom. Attach the center gable board with four S20 wood screws and both gable board A's with three S20 wood screws per board to the sunburst, roof support, and roof support left. Repeat this process with the other roof support assembly. Step 23, roof assembly. Fit the 230 front roof panel to the 231 back roof panel so the back panel overlaps the front and the inside angle is square and tight. Attach the panels together with five S15 wood screws. Then attach the back roof panel to the front roof panel with five S15 wood screws. Fit one 232 transom side on each side of the gap in the front roof panel so the bottom is flush with the bottom of the panel and the notched edge of the transom side fits tight to the panel. Attach each transom side to the front roof panel with two S3 wood screws per board. Place the 233 transom roof over both transom sides and with the angled edge tight against the front roof panel, making sure there is a one and one quarter inch gap from the outside edge of each transom side to the outside edge of the transom roof. Attach the transom roof flush to the outside edge of each transom side and to the front roof panel with eight S15 wood screws. Step 24, attach roof support assembly. From the outside on the door wall side, attach one roof support assembly to the top of the narrow window panels with one S3 wood screw per side. The long point of the gable bottom should be flush to the outside face of the narrow window panels. From inside the assembly, pre-drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, then attach the gable bottom to the long wall ties using two narrow angled brackets with two S8 pan screws per bracket. From the outside on the swing side wall, attach one roof support assembly to the top of the narrow window panels with one S3 wood screw per side. The long point of the gable bottom should be flush to the outside face of the narrow window panels. From inside the assembly, Measure 9 and 3 quarter inches from the inside of the narrow window panel and place one flat panel bracket against the SW side panel and gable bottom. The top of the flat panel bracket should measure 1 and 1 half inches from the bottom of the gable bottom. Attach the flat panel bracket to the SW side panel and gable bottom with four S8 pan screws. Measure 13 inches from the first flat panel bracket and place a second flat panel bracket against the SW side panel and gable bottom. The top of the flat panel bracket should measure one and one half inches from the bottom of the gable bottom. Attach the flat panel bracket to the SW side panel and gable bottom with four S8 pan screws. Step 25, attach roof assembly to fort. With two people on the ground and at least one person in the fort, Lift the roof assembly up and over the back side of the fort. Guide the roof assembly onto the fort so it aligns with the transom panel front. 
using the factory drilled holes as guides. Attach the transom panel front to the transom sides with two S3 wood screws. Then attach the transom roof to the transom panel front with two S15 wood screws. Next, attach the 250 trim arch to 233 transom roof with four S15 wood screws. Make sure the roof assembly lays flat on each roof support assembly and it overhangs both roof support assemblies by one and one half inches. Using the factory drilled holes as a guide, attach the roof assembly to the center of the roof support assemblies with two S3 wood screws per side. At each corner of the roof assembly, measure five inches up from the bottom and pre-drill pilot holes into the center of the roof support assemblies with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Attach the roof assembly to the roof support assemblies with two S3 wood screws per side. On the back side of the fort, pre-drill pilot holes into the roof assembly, three inches on either side of the middle roof screw and one and one half inches up from the bottom of the assembly. Make sure to pre-drill into the roof gusset, which is behind the roof assembly. Attach the roof assembly to the roof gusset with two S3 wood screws. Step 26. Attach heavy T-bracket to fort. Attach heavy T-bracket to the SW wall using two WB7 wafer bolts with flat washer and T-nut. Step 27. Swing beam assembly. Attach six heavy duty swing hangers to the 270 engineered SW beam using two G13 hex bolts with two flat washers, plastic formed washer, and lock nut per swing hanger. Then attach one quick clip to each heavy duty swing hanger. Next, install four WB7 wafer bolts with flat washer and T nut into the engineered SW beam as shown in figure 27.3 and 27.4. A wafer bolt does not get installed on the swing side of the beam. Make sure all four bolts are attached. They will minimize checking of wood. Step 28. Swing Post Assembly. Keep all bolts from step 28 loose until start of step 30. Place the 280SW block angle on top of the 281 block SW and attach two heavy L brackets on top of the SW block angle feeding two G17 3 8 by 6 inch hex bolts with two flat washers, plastic formed washer and lock nut through both boards. Place the SW block angle and block SW assembly in between two 282 SW posts, making sure the heavy L brackets are towards the outside. Place one heavy G bracket on the top SW post and attach with one G26 hex bolt with two flat washers and one lock nut. Attach three WB7 wafer bolts with flat washer and T-nut to all three holes in each 282 SW post as shown in figure 28.3 and 28.4. Important, make sure all six bolts are attached to minimize checking of wood. Next, attach the cedar summit plaque to the center of the engineered SW beam over top of the T-nut using four S18 screws. With two or more helpers, Place the engineered SW beam on the heavy T bracket and attach to the fort with one G18 hex bolt with two flat washers, plastic formed washer and lock nut, and one G17 hex bolt with two flat washers, plastic formed washer and lock nut. Place the end of the engineered SW beam without a wafer bolt in between the heavy L brackets, making sure the holes are lined up. Then, attach the swing post assembly to the swing beam assembly using one G20 hex bolt with two flat washers and lock nut through the heavy L bracket. Attach the engineered SW beam to the heavy G bracket with one G17 hex bolt with two flat washers, plastic formed washer and lock nut. Step 29. Attach cross support. Make sure the engineered SW beam is level and the bottom of the beam to the ground measures 85 inches. To adjust for uneven ground, raise or lower the 290 support cross on the SW post. 
make sure the support cross is level prior to attaching with the lag screws. Place the support cross between the SW post at the previously determined spot. Pre-drill using a 3 16th inch drill bit, then fasten with one LS9 lag screw with flat washer per side. One side is fastened on the outside and one on the inside. It is important that each side is positioned exactly the same as the diagram seen in figure 29.3. Tighten the lag screws when you are sure the support cross is level. Attach one WB8 wafer bolt with flat washer and T-nut to the support cross through the middle hole. Make sure the bolt is attached to minimize checking of wood. Step 30. Final Swing Post Assembly. First, tighten all the bolts from step 28. Next, pre-drill using a 3 16th inch drill bit, then attach